Hello and a big welcome to everyone. Today is a very special day for me and the BMW Motorrad team. Back in April, we had our very first digital world premiere of the BMW R18, which has been thrilling motorcycle fans from all over the world since day one. It is now time to celebrate our next digital premiere together with you on all our channels. Over the next few minutes, we will present five new motorcycles for the very first time all in connection with our heritage product range. And you can also look forward to some more surprises. I'm proud to start with a very special motorcycle, featuring a stunning engine, the biggest boxer engine we have ever created. Now it's time to present the new member of our Cruiser family. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the BMW R18 Classic. What a great bike. The R18 Classic is a perfect bike for emotional and nostalgic touring and is our second offer in the Cruiser segment. It stands entirely in the tradition of historical BMW motorcycles and reflects the early days of the first touring cruisers. Compared to the puristic R18, you can immediately recognize the features of the R80 Classic, which make the bike the perfect touring companion. A big windshield. LED headlights, the pillion passenger seats, and additional saddlebags. And what is quite important in the segment, the R18 Classic is equipped with cruise control as standard. Our 1800cc Big Boxer is once again the epicenter of pure riding fun and continues the long tradition of our air-cooled Boxer engines. The Boxer engines have provided an inspiring and unique riding experience from the very beginnings of BMW Motorrad in 1923 until today. In addition to the output of 91 horsepower, it is above all the over 150 newton meters of torque which turned this Boxer engine and this bike into such a unique ride. And now you can even hear it. That's what I call a great entrance. Hello, Edgar. Nice to see you. Hello, Marcos. Thank you for letting me ride in with this beautiful bike here. The R18 is already a masterpiece. And the new R18 Classic is a very logical addition to this family. The features that differentiate it the most from the R18 are obviously the big windshield, the fat 16-inch tire, the pillion passenger seat, and the saddlebags. On top, the auxiliary lighting here adds to the striking appearance of the R18 Classic. As for the R18, the proportions of the bike are timeless anyway. It is characterized by its sloping lines, by its low stance and very elegant appearance. Design icons that you can find on the classic motorbikes from the 30s and 40s have been transferred into this bike. For example, the double loop frame, the open running shaft drive, you can see here, the drop shaped fuel tank with a black paint and the double white pinstripes. All these parts reflect our classic BMW Motora design DNA in a very, very modern way. And the most iconic part, obviously, is the engine. It has a very, very clean design with no added distractions. Only the beautiful yet comprehensive mechanics meet the eye. I love to call it a mechanical sculpture, a piece of art in metal. Apart from this, every part of the bike, from the big components such as the engine to the small details, such as the seat mount, for example, or the handlebar risers, they have been lovingly designed and provide a premium tactile experience. I always like to say that mechanics is a luxury of the future. The purposeful design of the bodywork 
in the form of individual components reinforces the bike's classic look. And at the same time, it allows room for customizing and modification. Both bikes, the R18 Classic and the R18, they offer a highly conversion-friendly architecture because customizing was very much a focus right from the start of the project. Customizing is very important for the biggest touring cruiser markets, the USA. And who else could give us better insights into the US American market than our head of BMW Motor at USA, Trudy Hardy. Welcome, Trudy. Thank you very much, Edgar. Here in the United States, the R18 has been on sale for a little over a month, and I can tell you that demand for this bike is so high. Some of our customers have come in to see the R18, they've expressed their interest, but they are looking for a little bit more touring capability. We are very excited that we now have the perfect bike to offer these customers with the new R18 Classic. And as Edgar mentioned earlier, customization is very important in the cruiser segment, especially here in the United States. And that is why we will offer an expansive program of optional equipment. There are many different parts and accessories which will allow individual customizing that significantly alters the character of your R18 or R18 Classic. BMW Motorrad is collaborating with several well-known U.S. suppliers, and I'd like to highlight a few of them for you today. Let's start with Mustang seats. The outcome of this cooperation are high-quality, handmade seats that are offered in different variants for a variety of purposes. Whether one- or two-seater options giving more emphasis to comfort or design, in black or brown, with or without a backrest. There are almost no limits to the possible variations of high quality seats that we'll offer. For the exhaust system, BMW Motorrad is cooperating with Vance & Hines, another well-known US company. These exhaust systems not only offer individual and exclusive customizing looks, but they meet the rigorous BMW Motorrad quality standards. In addition to optimum power and torque output, they underline the unique resonant sound of the Boxer engine. And last but not least, we offer complete design collections called Machined and Two-Tone Black for the R18 and R18 Classic. Both design lines offer various parts and were created with the renowned company Roland Sands Design. But who else could tell you more about these design collections than the man himself? That's why we visited Roland Sands a few days ago and what we learned and what we experienced there, you can now see for yourself. Hey, what's up? I'm Roland Sands and this is our version of the BMW R18. We call this bike the R18 Dragster. As you can see, it's quite a bit different from the stock bike. We definitely appreciate the original version of the R18, but for us, we like to go a little bit further, and this is our version of further of the R18. Um, and you can see there's quite a bit of difference with this bike than the stock bike. To start with, it's a rigid, and it's a rigid because it's a drag bike. Drag bikes generally need suspension, so we have welded on a complete new rear section on the bike. It was important on this bike to retain a stock aesthetic and use the R18 body lines because A, they're beautiful, and B, is a little bit easier to use the stock stuff than to recreate it from, from scratch. And I mean, I think it worked out really good. One of the coolest things about this motorcycle is that you can purchase much of the product that's on it. The black two-tone valve covers, the black two-tone breastplate. You can purchase the gas cap the headlight bezel. You can purchase the wheels. These wheels are actually production wheels. You can purchase the exhaust end caps, not this version, but very close to it. The grips as well as the gauge. So there's a large selection of product on this bike that you can purchase for your own R18, for your own BMW R18. The machine parts 
that we have here are just a portion of the collection. Valve covers breastplate, levers, reservoir covers, and grips. We also do a gauge mount. We do seats. We're also doing fork covers, handlebar ends. Uh, we're doing wheels, um, both in all, and all these parts are both offered in machine and two-tone black finishes. Um, mirrors, risers, exhaust end caps. The two-tone black finish starts out as a forging. We machine that forging, then we texturize it, and then we go back and we remachine it. After that, we send it to black anodize, and that gives you that two-tone black, gloss black, textured black finish. The contrast cut goes through a little bit different process. We take a raw forging, we machine that raw forging, then we black anodize the part. After the part's black anodized, we bring it back, put it back on the machine, and you, then, you, then you machine the highlights into the product, which gives you this machine finish. So the R18 project has been a really fun one for us. This project started out with the R9T um, and our, our R9T first concept bike that we did, Concept 90. We started building breastplates and valve covers for the bikes, and then that blossomed into all kinds of different parts. Um, we continue to customize the R9T in as many variations as possible. So now we get the R18 where we can start customizing that bike as well. And uh, yeah, it's an exciting platform to base product off of and to base customs off of. Um, and apparently there's some new stuff coming for the R19. The very first BMW R19 had its world premiere in 2013. Back then it was created to mark 90 years of BMW Motorrad. From day one, our R9 T models thrilled motorcycle fans all over the world with their authentic coolness and the reduced design. In addition, it also is a very agile motorbike and easy to ride. These ingredients were the formula for a heritage boxer bike with a great fun factor. The huge worldwide success of the R9 T bikes is demonstrated by the fact that we delivered more than 80,000 R9 T models to our customers until today. Now, seven years later, it is time for the world premiere of the new generation of our R90 family members, which is made up of four models now. Besides the iconic R90, there's the R90 Pure, reduced to the essentials. The R90 Scrambler, with the classic feature of a scrambler, deep treaded tires, a raised exhaust, and relaxed seating position. And finally, the R90 Urban GS. This year marks the 40th anniversary of the BMW GS models. The Urban GS draws on the genes of the very first and legendary BMW R80 GS from 1980, transporting them into the modern era, an enduro-style BMW with a boxer engine. BMW motorcycles have been known for the air-cooled boxer engines for almost 100 years now. With the latest update of this engine, it is now EU5 compliant, while it also has more power and more torque in the 4 to 6,000 RPM range. New standard features on the R9 T family members are ABS Pro with dynamic brake control, the riding modes rain and road, new LED headlamps and wide LED turn indicators. The already impressive range of optional equipment items is getting even larger. For the very first time now, we offer the Riding Modes Pro as part of the comfort package for all R9 T bikes. With the two new additional settings, Dyna for the R9 T and the Pure, and Dirt for the Scrambler and the Urban GS models as well as dynamic traction control and engine drag torque control. Ever since we began developing the very first R90, individualization was one of the key elements for us. With our Option 719 program, we now offer even more exclusive and high quality options for customizing your R90 according to your taste. The new Option 719 milled part design, classic and shadow, allow you to add unique milled engine parts, hand levers, footrest, and even more. And of course, we have added a number of new colors, such as Kalamata Metallic Matte, Granite Gray Metallic, Teal Blue Metallic, and the option 719 colors Aluminum, 
or cosmic blue metallic with light white, or option 719 night black matte with aluminum matte. For sure, this is the benchmark when it comes to X-Factory paintwork.